say welcome to powerhouse to roll i'm energy goddess welcome to my live by the growing abundant and prosperous youtube channel all right on my channel i like to do different spiritually related videos and content if that's your thing if that's your vibration you resonate with it over here please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well as the post notification bell today's message is going to be a channel message Acceptance is out. Discipline. The energy right now is like, even if you didn't get something done, a task completed, you need to create a stronger discipline regimen so that you can accomplish what you set your mind to. Honesty. Be honest with yourself. Right now, that's going to be a big theme about what you're doing right now. The messages I'm hearing. You're learning how to create more discipline in your life. And there's also a, a, a space you need to hold for acceptance. I'm learning that, learning to accept the things that I cannot change, okay? Welcome in, CP. Yeah, honesty and empathy came out, yeah. Let's go one more. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Courage. strength to face fear with confidence hmm. yeah it could have been something you were afraid of or something that was just it was fear and fear is nothing but false evidence appearing real Co-create, okay? Co-create. You're co-creating with the divine. I feel like um, some of us, once we realize the gods and goddesses that we were, we realize that that still made us have to co-create. You know, if that that idea doesn't escape. You know, like if that that's always going to be a huge part of the theme you know what i'm saying we are co-creating with with the divine you know um there's this need to have discipline be have courage and in the space of acceptance as well right hmm. it is time anything else of significance right now I'm not even gonna lie. Damn, I 
have one of them readers that's just going to tell you some shit. I'm, I'm not getting a message for that. I don't know what that means, y'all. <laughs> Make a fire. <laughs> oh, Where that shit came from? Quiet. Where that shit came from? Chop wood. Chop wood. I don't know. I'm not getting anything, picking anything up. Ear chakras. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both eternal sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Ear chakras. Indigo. You are a highly sensitive, natural-born leader, indigo. Mm. You're co-creating with the divine. Some of you guys don't know how divine you are. You're definitely coming into a realization, though, of who you are. Parents, the divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from a pain associated with your mother or father. Parents. I was picking this up too the other day. Um, strongly about somebody's father. A relationship with a father. chakra yeah speaking your peace the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth yeah literally right now it's like some of y'all it's taking you years and you still don't even feel like you've all the way like found your voice you know um some of you guys are still working on that voice some of you guys feel like yo i'm too old to be like not have a voice and so it gives you like um it creates fear, false evidence appearing real, period. That makes you think that, like, that, that shit, like, you can't teach an old dog tricks, and that's not true. We growing and evolving every day. And if every day we not, you know what I'm saying? What are we really doing, right? So it's time to really take some stock on what's really happening for you. You're getting into um, a really divine space, you know, where there's a lot of acceptance, discipline, and courage. You're, you're um, experiencing different emotions because you're co-creating with the divine, right? You guys are indigo ch children. Now you're finally learning how to use that throat chakra. It's like you're getting... They giving you the information through your ears and, and then opening up your throat chakra. You know what I'm saying? To help you be able to say what they telling you intuitively. So this is a divine time for you, the indigo uh, children. And yes, you do have some issues with and blockages with, with, with parents and things like that from the past that may be very significant in, in parts of you that you'll be becoming into more acceptance for as well. Is there anything else? Family room. Yeah, family room. Then we have out the spear.
feel like the reason why some of us, you know, having a little bit of difficulty on some real shit. You know what I'm getting now with this message, chop wood, it's like <clears throat> the act of it, right? So looking at the act of it, it's like I'm hearing like it's time to make like good on something, like take action on something in your life. Something is giving you a sense of despair because you're not taking action on something in your life that you're supposed to be doing, right? And so what they saying that you they want you to take action on is knowing who you are. You're an indigo child. You 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 have a celestial family like a, a whole indigo family that you're from you know what i'm saying i feel like um you know because we were born in this meat soup through our parents there's a huge attachment thing and expectation that we put into what we felt we should have experienced growing up you know what i'm saying um, realistic or unrealistic, right? Right? Um, and I feel like it's something deep within you that you're trying to repair at the same time that you're co-creating with the divine, but the divine is saying you have to address this, open up, like, you know, this is the blockage right here. You know what I'm saying? There isn't anything else. Like, this is the blockage that we were talking about, how we're going to co-create together. You know what I'm saying? As you work with me, you know what I'm saying? We heal the things in the environment, in the universe. You know what I'm saying? That 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 are plaguing you, that are your parasites, that are in opposition, just period. You know what I'm saying? But you have to, uh, uh, again, it's just that big energy of acceptance and listening and using the throat chakra to get the job done. You know what I'm saying? What else is coming out? Some of you guys were sent to do like really big missions. Like you were sent to not only free yourself, but to free other people. Um, that's what you were sent here on this planet to do. You're an indigo child. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not too sure about the specifics on what an indigo child is, but they're natural born leaders and they're highly sensitive beings. What I'm getting intuitively about indigo um, children, having done no research, right? But what I'm getting intuitively about you is that you, it's like you come from a very specific group of, of, of beings that um, are very powerful um, and they work really cl closely with the divine, you know, Mother God, Father God, right? Um, just something to that effect is what I keep, is what I'm getting, right? They could have been a false person, somebody in your life Somebody that just didn't want you to believe that. Um, you know, like an agent or somebody that was sent, a lot of agents I feel like were sent in your life. You could have even gone through a really difficult situation in the court system or something that was very painful. Um, I feel like now you have a different position in life and um, that's really what your job is. Your job is you were sent to free other people. Like, not physically, but mentally. Mm -hmm. You know? On some shit. So some of y'all could be like teachers or healers, 
something to that effect as well. But it's very significant about you chopping wood. Something about you creating fire or creating an abundance or creating um, momentum or action or her action. So, um, but it's like lighting a fire up under your ass or something about that. <laughs> They just said that, yo, something about like lighting a fire up under you, like getting it going, you know what I'm saying? Like you you are a very powerful just entity and, you know, um, person and you just don't realize that, you know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like you're working with spirit or uh, the most high to really establish this bond because... Um, you, you were taught through certain dogmas and doctrines that you needed a go-between and you needed a Messiah in between your relationship with God. That's significant to why you having the blockages right now. But you're an indigo child, so they can't leave you behind. They're going to give you the drop. You feel me? So no matter where you at and where you find yourself, that's why you find yourself in this message, with this message. You know what I'm saying? These people were, like, meant to deceive you, like, from day one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you for the donation. Who is that? Okay. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's get a... The tarot messages. Somebody's a powerful indigo child. You're a powerful... Um, light worker on some real shit and you finally learn how to c communicate the messages from the divine like in a more potent way you know shall I say it's more potent these days so we got Aunt Caroline yeah, you're going through a lot of karmic cycles right now. For those of us getting this message, I feel like in the past, you planted a lot of good seeds, just learning all the information that you needed to, to get you to this space right now. Um, for the most part, I'm seeing really good luck for a lot of, a lot of us getting this read. I'm seeing a, a lot of good luck in the problem area. Mentally, that's really was the only thing that was holding us back from getting, um, for those of us getting this read was fear. So, just be mindful of that, right? It's not real. Yeah, it's like I was saying about karma. I feel like some of us went through some really tough um, karmic cycles in our lives. That's another reason that makes you think that you aren't who you uh, are, <laughs> period. Because of some of the um, difficult karmic cycles that you've undergone in this life. That's how you know. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be going through stuff like this, you know? It's never easy for us, want the ones that are the true leaders and the true um, people sent to do certain missions when it comes to leading the people, right? And we have our five of sticks. Yeah, I'm seeing um, let's get some insight on this five of sticks message. What is this talking about here?
really or what I'm seeing is that some sort of conflict you're probably in right now. Tell me about this conflict. Some sort of... <clears throat> Like, remember I, I was saying about people in your life? It could have been, like, family, friends, people that are really close to you that made you believe these things because they're under these dogmas or these doctrines, and they believe them really wholeheartedly. They use them as a means to be lazy. See, you're not the lazy. You're not afraid to challenge yourself, your thoughts, your beliefs, or anything. You step within it. You go within yourself. You know what I'm saying? To truly understand and connect to God. You know what I'm saying? And you do it in such an effortless way because you're an indigo. Now, just because you're an indigo don't mean everybody in your family going to be that. Don't mean everybody that you hook up with and make your lover, your partner, your whatever, they going to be like that, right? So you get a lot of opposition. You get a lot of strife because of that. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why a lot of false people come into your life, right? Prophesizing that bullshit because they were agents. They were bots sent to distract you from your divine mission. Just on some real shit. So if right now you up against a lot right now, just realize how divine you are and why you experiencing that opposition and, and let it roll like water off your back. You feel me? Like, but let's clarify it. The five of six. Three of Swords, okay, because they were meant to be, to bring you pain and bring you um, uh, uh, confusion, chaos, doubt, they, that's what type of agents they were sent in your life to be, you feel me, and so that's what your opposition feels like. And it's, it, it only becomes more painful when you look at the relationship instead of looking at who people truly are. You know what I'm saying? And that first look goes within. When you look at yourself and you see who you are, then you understand who, who everybody else is. You can see a lot more clearly. But remember, you're co-creating with the divine. You know what I'm saying? In order for you to really tap into your powers, you really have to trust this process. You really have to trust what you know and what you're hearing, what you're experiencing, you know what I'm saying? In order for you to truly, right, make this true connection and understanding of what's going on. I really see that um, consciously you're making a decision. It's not, I don't see this as a stalemate, like you're stuck. But I do see it as you're making a decision because we all got them. And so not everybody's going to make the same decision. Let me clarify the decision. Let's see what y'all going to do. Let me tell y'all what y'all going to do. I know y'all want to know. What, what you think we should do? Let me find out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Two and eyes. Tell me about the two and eyes. I got to know. I got to know. Okay, so we got out the... Is that the king? Or the queen? Hold on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we got the queen of, cup or, um, of cups. And the page of cups. Yeah, you're definitely going to choose, make the right decision. I'm getting a yes on that. As far as to know that you should be co-creating with the divine, trusting your intuition. You do make a solid choice in that. So I'm happy with that. I'll take that. But yeah. Some of y'all was definitely on the fence when it came to the decision. 
that's why I think that chop wood was talking about, like, do it. It's like chop wood. That's what chopping wood is, like the action. It's like something you're going to do, you know. Um, like, get going. Start the fire. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Like, you got, you got the green light type shit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. what the car was called railroad bill i always call this car railroad tracks <laughs> you know i ain't been there and read this car ever it's the uh chariot though but i didn't ever know that the same car said railroad bill hmm. see i had to um study these cars more without the book than with the book because these were like talking to me without the book but I do I did read it a little bit in the, in the uh, beginning when I first got this deck I love this deck this is the hoodoo deck by the way y'all I'm using it all for the rest of February Black History Month alright but yeah so anyways get back to the message um I feel like in our aware minds, those of us getting this read, it's like you know you're on a spiritual journey, the spiritual uh, 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 train, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like you, you are aware of that. And I feel like that's the best part of it. Um, you're moving, just moving into the space of acceptance, you know what I'm saying? More discipline, you know, really listening to the feedback that, you know, spirit is giving you at this time. In your power, what's in your power, Ace of Coins, shout out, okay? Some of y'all, you'll be making good on a new job or a new opportunity in earthly matters, practical matters. So this could be like a new job, very significant for some of you guys in that. Some of you guys learned some really tough lessons, but you I feel like learning those lessons was the only way that you could truly learn what truth was. Some of you guys thought it was sabotage, but it wasn't. It was actually bringing you closer to um, being able to make a choice out of, out of wisdom or make a decision out of wisdom. Um, and that's what really the chariot energy is all about. You know what I'm saying? Being able to make a choice out of wisdom. Like having lived on this earth and, and learned. You know, that um, made certain mistakes, made certain errors. So that you could use that and later on create wisdom. Because now you got the feedback of how it didn't work so now you can learn and make a plan of how it can work whatever those situations in your life be right and i feel like just don't look at your situations or uh what you've experienced in the past as harshly you know um that's where i feel like acceptance you know that this where i was kept saying was a space of acceptance you know is what you're creating for yourself you know truly Yes, journaling in the <laughs> Listen, I don't know because I might have to look it up too. Because I don't even know. But I know it's something significant and if you working with the divine, I know it's something divine. I just don't know specifically, but I'm going to get some more information on that so that I can be a little more versed on it specifically but yeah that's pretty dope <laughs> yes love it okay so we got off the five of baskets five of cups energy okay 
and what's external. I feel like looking outside of yourself is very disappointing. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but disappointment because once you co-create with the divine, you, you know that you won't need nothing else. And that's the only way that you know that you're working with the divine. When you have that sense of surety, that sense of power, and that true sense of authority, when that kick in. And that's the only way you know. So rely on that. You know what I'm saying? There's ease in that. You know what I'm saying? There's peace in that. There is courage in that. Yeah, I feel like spirit is leading us through difficult situations, um, tough times, hard times. And for the most part, this doesn't even really have to signify a hard time so much as a particular time in our lives, right, that we're being transitioned through. Tell me more about what the transition is. Some of us can this reading. What's going on? Some specifics on that. Thank you. Okay, so some of us are getting offers to start something new. Some of us are also getting offers to just be have more fertility so in exchange as you're co-creating with the most high you're going to be experiencing a lot of gifts that's how god works i'm trying to tell you it's called favor some might say some might call it favor right um but that's the experience when you really dealing with god's energy you know the most high you know energy for real and it, and it really um, sets your passions on fire. So remember, we got that card out talking about your passions and your desires and letting those things free and, and be flowing. You know, you're going to receive a lot, but you first have to come into an awareness and acceptance of who you are divinely so that you can make that connection, right, with your highest self. Eight of six. Okay, a lot of I'm seeing of this a lot of success and a lot of speedy, quick, quick, quick recovery because you're working with the divine, you you know, doing what you need to do. Seven of six, standing in power, which is the seven of wands. Okay, energy. I love the four of us here. Stand your ground, you're very protected. I'm trying to tell you, you know who you are. Walk in that shit. Stomping that shit. Let me see. Tell me more about the eight of six. Hold on, that was a lot. Just give me a couple. Give me a couple. So some of us, remember, we were burdened with the Ten of Knives here. It comes out here in the outcome as well. It's an indicator. You know what I'm saying? That Ten of Swords energy of things just really coming to a complete end. You kind of finding your power through the problem. You know what I'm saying? And being able to release that. You know, transform that energy, actually. You know, um, for some of us, it created addictions, but a, a speedy and swift recovery comes in for some of us in the outcome because you actually are doing the work. Some of us are really doing the work. I like that for us. Yeah, celebrations and the outcome also and... I also see us, you know, again, that two of swords. Mm -hmm. I see the two of swords coming in. And then I see the karma card as well as um, the star card. So...
trust yourself trust what it is that you know what it is you're experiencing the more that you go into the flow of trusting that the stronger you become just period Let me get another angel message here. Ascended masters, family. Y'all don't know. Listen, and look at the family down here. Look at all of the ascended master family. This did not tell you the indigos. That's who y'all are. Listen, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. Okay? I can't make this shit up for us. Getting this three day. Let me hear one more. Just one more. Singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through your magical power of music and movement. You're psychic. You guys don't be understanding on some real shit. Like, y'all be dope as fuck. You just are who you are. Shit. Accept it. You're excellent. <laughs> You're of excellence on some real shit. Giving y'all all that I like. Do they need some more messages? Cause I just I just want to really bring it home. Like, hmm. let's get one of these. Let's see what's coming out of here. It says, "Mother Earth, feel loved and comforted. Feel loved and comforted." Mother Earth energy, okay. Protection Guardian, drop your shields, okay. It's like some of y'all might still have the art protected or just trying to protect yourself, but what you're doing is you're blocking out the messages from the divine. So you got to drop your shoes so that you can allow protection, your protection guardians in, you know, for real. That's what the Ten of Wands, that Ten of Swords and that Two of Swords was all about, you know, dropping your shoes so that the divine can assist you. Shaolin Master. Be graceful in movement and action. Okay. And then we have our druid. Hold the space. What I've been saying, hold the space. Right? About acceptance. Hold the space for acceptance. Literally. Bro, these cars be talking, talking. Like, what they talking about? Stand your ground. Seven of fucking swords. Seven of Wands. <clears throat> okay. Just period. And that's what I got for the channel message. I love y'all so much. I'll be back for another one. Peace.